The elephant's foot, referred to as the most radioactive object on Earth, is a highly lethal mass of radioactive material formed as a result of the Chernobyl nuclear disaster that occurred on April 26, 1986. This disaster, classified as a Level 7 event on the International Nuclear Event Scale, involved the release of a substantial amount of radioactive particles into the atmosphere, impacting a vast area of Europe. The explosion of the reactor released an estimated 400 times more radioactive material than the atomic bombing of Hiroshima and Nagasaki. The elephant's foot itself is a black, lava-like substance that formed from the melted core of the reactor and other materials such as sand and concrete. Its lethal levels of radiation can deliver a fatal dose within minutes of exposure, and even a brief look at it could be deadly. The mass initially emitted an intense level of radiation at 10,000 roentgens per hour and has since decayed to about 40 roentgens per hour. Despite this decrease, it still poses an extreme risk to human health. The site where the elephant's foot is located is known as the sarcophagus, a concrete structure hastily constructed to contain the radioactive materials. The elephant's foot remains a lasting reminder of the catastrophic event symbolizing the devastating power of radiation and the long-term consequences of nuclear disasters, while also serving as a cautionary tale for the future of nuclear energy. Formation of the Elephant's Foot The elephant's foot is a solid mass of corium, a highly radioactive and dangerous substance formed from the nuclear fuel, concrete, and other materials melted during the Chernobyl disaster. The mass of corium, also known as fuel-containing mass, weighs an estimated 100 tons and is principally composed of melted nuclear fuel, graphite, sand, and concrete. Its formation was a result of the intense heat generated by the nuclear fuel, reaching temperatures as high as 2,912 degrees Fahrenheit, leading to the melting and fusion of the materials. The elephant's foot was discovered in the basement of the Chernobyl Nuclear Power Plant's Unit 4, where it had spread out to a diameter of approximately seven feet. The rapid fusion and solidification of these materials led to the formation of a structure so dense that it can only be penetrated by the strongest of materials, like a diamond. The highly radioactive nature of the elephant's foot is attributed to the presence of isotopes such as cesium-137 and strontium-90, with radiation levels in its vicinity capable of delivering a lethal dose in a matter of minutes. Additionally, during the early days after its formation, the radioactivity emitted by the elephant's foot was so intense that it was estimated to deliver a fatal dose of radiation within a few minutes of exposure, making it one of the most hazardous radioactive materials on Earth. Lethal Radiation Levels the elephant's foot emits an incredibly high level of radiation, making it one of the most hazardous objects on the planet. The radiation level near the elephant's foot was estimated to be around 10,000 roentgens per hour shortly after the disaster, a dose that is lethal to humans in a matter of minutes. Even today, the radiation levels near this mass of radioactive material remain dangerously high, posing a significant threat to any living organism that comes into contact with it. The radioactive material itself is a result of the Chernobyl nuclear disaster, which occurred on April 26, 1986. The disaster released an estimated 400 times more radioactive material than the atomic bombing of Hiroshima and Nagasaki. The elephant's foot, formed from a mixture of nuclear fuel, melted concrete, and sand, weighs an estimated 100 tons and has a temperature of over 1,500 degrees Fahrenheit. The intense radiation emitted by the elephant's foot not only presents a significant human health risk, but also impedes any efforts to approach or contain it. Despite the passage of over three decades since the disaster, the elephant's foot continues to be a poignant reminder of the catastrophic effects of nuclear accidents. Physical Characteristics The elephant's foot, a lethal mass of radioactive material, presents a haunting and surreal sight with its distinct and otherworldly appearance. Composed of a black, glassy substance, it bears a striking resemblance to solidified lava, 
serving as a tangible testament to the catastrophic events at Chernobyl. The intense heat generated from the nuclear reactions led to the material melting, flowing, and eventually solidifying into this eerie and enigmatic formation. Its unique physical structure, characterized by an irregular and menacing appearance, embodies the destructive power of the Chernobyl disaster, serving as a visible reminder of the enduring impact of the radioactive fallout. This phenomenon serves as a solemn reminder of the magnitude of the catastrophe, with the elephant's foot emitting a lethal dose of radiation at a rate that could prove fatal in a matter of minutes, serving as one of the most hazardous and lethal remnants of the Chernobyl disaster. After the explosion in 1986, the elephant's foot originally emitted radiation at an intensity that would deliver a fatal dose within seconds, and though it has since decreased, it remains one of the most radioactive objects on Earth. Even after years have passed, the material continues to generate intense levels of radiation, emitting nearly 10,000 Roentgens per hour, which is hundreds of times higher than the lethal dose for humans. This formidable level of radiation has also resulted in the degradation and alteration of its chemical structure, with the material's composition evolving over time, further solidifying its status as a grim and enduring relic of the Chernobyl disaster. Long-term environmental impact. The presence of the elephant's foot in the Chernobyl exclusion zone has profound and far-reaching environmental implications. A staggering 200 tons of melted nuclear fuel, along with concrete and other materials, comprise this lethal mass of radioactive material. The elephant's foot continues to emit alarming levels of radiation with measurements from its surface recorded at 10,000 Roentgens per hour, a dose that would prove fatal to humans within minutes. This poses serious health risks to any organisms within its vicinity, as the deadly gamma radiation can cause severe tissue damage and long-term genetic mutations. Furthermore, the potential for further contamination of the environment is a significant concern, as the elephant's foot could leach radioactive particles into the groundwater, ultimately affecting the surrounding ecosystem. Even after decades, the elephant's foot remains extremely hazardous, serving as a haunting reminder of the enduring consequences of nuclear disasters like the Chernobyl meltdown in 1986. Conclusion The elephant's foot, a mass of corium formed during the Chernobyl disaster, is a poignant and harrowing reminder of the catastrophic consequences of nuclear accidents. This deadly formation, comprised of melted nuclear fuel, concrete, and other materials, emits radiation at levels that would be fatal to a human within minutes of exposure. The immediate area surrounding the elephant's foot received a staggering dose of approximately 10,000 Roentgens per hour, enough to cause severe radiation sickness in a matter of minutes, and a lethal dose within just a few hours. Its unique physical characteristics, such as the black, magma-like appearance, serve as a haunting testament to the immense heat and destruction unleashed during the meltdown. The long-term environmental impact of the elephant's foot is equally grave, as the surrounding area remains uninhabitable for thousands of years due to persistent high levels of radiation. Beyond its physical attributes, the elephant's foot serves as a chilling reminder of the importance of stringent safety measures in nuclear facilities, as the mishandling of such technologies can lead to devastating consequences. The events at Chernobyl stand as a dark and cautionary tale, highlighting the urgent need for rigorous protocols and thorough oversight to prevent future nuclear disasters of a similar or even greater magnitude.